Well, Craig Hackney, uh, welcome to the Bilge Podcast. And, you know, that's what do you think? I mean, this is it's awesome. <laughs> it's pretty cool, huh? It really is. The I mean, traveling podcast. Yeah, it's, yeah awesome. it's, it's a little different, and it's called the Bilge because you you never know what you're going to find in the Bilge. Like, there's some controlled chaos. There's, like, these pumps, and there's these cords, but there's also the slime and these old screws and old worms and things like that. Sometimes you take stuff out. Sometimes you put stuff. It's like, it's just a mix of stuff. So I appreciate you coming out, taking the time and hanging out with us. So as we sit here, we're actually on the shores of Lake Champlain, um, in the middle of a tournament, second to the last tournament of the year. And, uh, today got canceled, man. It's kind of weird. Like it's not a, that's not a good, I mean, it's not a, it's not a position I'd want to be in to make those calls, you know, it's, it, it really, and, and, you know, Lisa and Chris Bowes, they do a great job with the information they have. But, uh, I think today was one of those days where it's like, mm, maybe not. Yeah. You know, it's one of those deals you get into one day we go, it's bad. Cause it doesn't seem like it's yeah. going to be that bad, but yeah. I, I, I know realistically it's better for everybody that yes. they are cautious. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this because we'll age. go in anything, right. you know what I mean? It doesn't matter how bad yeah. it is. We'll, if you said go, we're going. Yeah, so. if you've got fish down in Thai, you're going to go try right. and get there. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But it was actually probably worse yesterday afternoon than, you know, today. Like, we we're all sitting on the bank looking, and we're like, wow, it this would have been a good fishing day. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a shot that, uh, you know, on, on the website there, one of the guys was coming in riding those waves and his trolling motor was broken in half, man, like literally broken in half trying to make it back. And, and he sent it, no doubt. I mean, it like on Lake Champlain, most people don't realize – or any body of water up north here. I mean, when it go, uh, when it kicks up, I mean, it is like that. It's not like the Chafalai Basin or the California Delta where, you know, it's just, it's got to blow 30, 40 for it to make a difference. But here, a seven, eight mile an hour per wind, mile per hour wind. And yeah, if it's sustained, it doesn't take much here. No. So when I came back across, I ran far enough up the uh, east shoreline and mm-hmm. stayed out of it. Mm-hmm. And so I just came straight across and kind of troughed them. But they were big enough yesterday coming in. It'll give you a tingling feeling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you have a Marshall yesterday? <laughs> I did no? not. See, that's a, and we're light on Marshall this week too. Yeah. But but uh, yeah, that's nice. So you could send it and not worry yeah, about yeah, not you know, have to guy. worry about the other person. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, it would. It was like I was like Ooh, I was glad I didn't have to. I could trough them and not have to go across them. Yeah, I saw some guys that turned too soon too soon, and I was like. I'm just watching them just eat them. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, uh, you should have came on up a little farther. Yep. And I went all the way them. past the ferry before turn yes. turn. So I right. could stay down in and them. hung with them. Yeah. yeah. It's it's funny because it's hard to like pass your destination is over here and you're going, you know, you're going into them and then the troughs are going this way. It's hard to say, oh, okay, now is time. I'm going to go across. But you got really got to time it, go all the way past, and yeah. then come back down. Because I watched them try to go around that point, yeah. and they were eating. Probably them. probably rookies, probably yeah. some youngsters. Uh, one of them was Clifford Perch. Oh, he, led, wow. he, he led the group. I was surprised. <laughs> There's about 10 of us running down through there, yes. and I kept going. I shut down, actually, to put some water on my fish, and I turned back, and he turned. Well, when he turned, it was like the blind leading the blind. <laughs> They all just there they go. And Perch is a yeah, Perch is a big water a big guy. Water, for, yeah, yeah. Lake, Lake Mead. Mead. Yeah. The big, I guess he liked it. Those are the he likes big water. <laughs> those are the those are the oh big those are the biggest uh, waves in the in the country in in my opinion. And uh, have you ever been to Lake Mead? I have not. The U.S. Open. I've right? always wanted to go. And have it you? hasn't worked out. Yeah. Yeah. Punting season. Yeah. Well, that and like this year, I even thought about going this year, and uh, I'm actually going to fish that last open in Florida is the same week. As they, uh, so that's uh, funny. So you are thinking about the U.S. Open. Billy cool. texted me and told me to ask you if you would fish the U.S. Open or if you're going. Yeah, to. that's the only. I've already paid the deposit for the Bass Open, right. so uh, that's in Florida. It's in Florida. Okay, gotcha. Trey, you want to get right into it? Uh, I guess we can, Greg. Uh, uh, should I be she's nervous? Got, no, no, not at all. <laughs> she's, so, she's got questions well, lined up. So we asked the fans. I actually made a post this morning after you said, like, yeah, let's do it. Um, I made a post, and I, or he made a post and said, um, said, like, what would you ask Greg Hackney if you could, you know? Like, just to get the fans' thoughts and stuff. And, of course, the, a few of them had all the same um, questions, so I noted those. And one of them is, you're one of the guys who obviously left Bass and came back. So one of the questions I had on top of what the fans asked was, and not to get, you know, you say what you want. Like we said, like, if you don't want to talk about it, all good. But you have a perspective no one else has, right? Mm-hmm. You, you experienced both. And my question is, when you left, what was it that you thought Bass wasn't doing 
that you really were like, you know, I got to send a message. Or I mean, she's went deep yeah, right yeah. off the cuff. <laughs> he started or, it. He or, started yeah, it. <laughs> or to soften that up a little bit, because you and I have shared a cocktail or two, uh, you know, prior to the leave and everything, to soften that question up a little bit. Like, what was so alluring on the other side to actually take the plunge? Because, you know, you and I have talked about that before. Like, hey, this is this is the direction that this side's going in and everything. Like, you need to get on it, dude. You got to get on it. So they've done a good job of selling it. I'll be yeah, honest with you about right. that. And, uh you know, it, I, I guess it kind of goes back to that Oakley, you know, the grass is greener on the other side. Sure, sure. sure. You know, so it, it really, it seemed that, I'll, I'll be honest with you, you know, it's like a used car salesman. They did a great job of selling it, yeah. and it it sounded really, really sure. lucrative. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know it, what I mean? I mean, it, it like the, the dollar amounts were, what we were told were, I mean, like, how could you not? How can you not? You know, exactly. how could you not do it? Sure. And uh, But I've told somebody since I've been back, I'll, I will be really honest with you about this. Same-o, same-o is a great thing. Right. <laughs> right. It's right. just you, chill. You know typ- what you're going to get. And, and here's the deal. I should have known better at that age, but typically when something sounds too good, good to be true, it is. It typically right. is. Yeah. Do, so. you, do you understand why most of, were you, or were you surprised that most of the young guys went? Did that surprise you? peer pressure yeah yeah yeah, i feel like a bunch of them got sucked into that because you know what if the cool kids were doing it you know what i mean you know know, people are creature of habit you know what i mean it doesn't matter if you're kid you know like there were a lot of powerful fishermen Mm -hmm. that uh and i'll be honest with you about this a bunch of them i figured out after it was all said and done they are great fishermen they are terrible businessmen. Business. <laughs> I mean, it yeah. is what it is. It proved to me that you, just because you're a great fisherman, doesn't right. make you a great businessman. Right. No. <laughs> That's so true. And I made the same mistake as they did. You sure. know what I mean? Sure. But, I, you know, I I did my damnedest to right the ship, and yeah. here we are. Absolutely. Yeah. Are you um, happy with where Bass is at, or is it like... Same old, same old, like you said. and uh, Well, you know, here's the deal. There's some things that I would like to see change. But, I, I mean, you can't make everybody happy. Sure. But I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I enjoy getting up going fishing every morning right. now. Yeah. And, I, and I'll be honest with you, the big thing about the other deal, and I don't know how it is now because – I still have a lot of friends over there, sure. mm-hmm. and uh, but we don't really talk to business side. Like yeah, we don't yeah. compare the two organizations, right. and we don't do not the more, yeah. the right. business deal. But it was a lot of drama over there then when I was there. Yeah. But I've not been there in a while, right. so yeah. I don't know if there still is. But I, I was glad to get away from that. Sure, you know? yeah. I think a lot of animal, and I still talk to several guys. You know, and and you know, Cliff Crochet is still a good friend of mine. Or, you know, great friend of yours as well. And uh, I think a lot of, like you said, you know. There's a lot of promises or things that were said that, uh, you know, and not to beat a dead horse here, but, you know, and an- maybe animosity. They had, got- maybe they, they, they had intentions of doing all the sure, things they right. said, yeah. and yeah. then they got it's over there and out. they found out it's yeah. hard. It, it was hard. Well, it yeah. costs more. It's more of that. It yeah. There's a reason why yeah. Bassmaster maybe hadn't been able to do some of that. Yeah. Stuff. And, uh, well, maybe they're a little on the safer side. Does right. that make not taking right. a big risk? Because, sure. you know, with big risk, yeah, there's big rewards, right. but there's also big failure. So, and then covid yeah okay? yeah covid had a lot to that do was a bad timing you know it was but covid for me was probably the best thing ever in that that's the reason i'm back at bass it because is. it opened up that i could fish the opens because oh, they canceled yeah. one and i would have had to miss that one it would have wow. conflicted with interesting uh an mlf event and uh because of covid they moved it till june and it allowed me to fish the opens and come back one so tournament. yeah wow. so i look back and say COVID was the greatest thing, everything. Because what it done, it speeded up some things that were already happening over there, Mm -hmm. but we didn't see it. And uh, so COVID kind of sped that up and it it sped up my exit. So it was a it was a good thing. Hey, and here's the deal with that. I hope they make it. I sure, hope they do fine. I don't Same. I don't have any hard feelings about any of that. You prefer it over here. For me personally, right. I'm a bassmaster guy. This is what I was trained to do. So you know, it is different strokes for different folks how many guys have so you um christy polinick swindle Polinic. that's four um justin atkins atkins came back yeah or came to Par- oh yeah that's six yeah it's pretty heavy there's hitters. quite a few yeah so and right I, now I you know ish, ish and is, uh bobby well, lane or bobby both, uh, yep i think they're the only two fish in the opens yeah and we're yeah. coming towards the end of the season are they doing all right I, 
I think Ish is struggling. Ish is struggling. Bobby, Bobby's got a chance, but he's going to have to catch him in the last three events. Wow, what a yeah, predicament. Three events left. Yeah, what, what a. Was the Opens harder than you thought it would be? So I was under an extremely high amount of pressure, probably as much as I've ever been. Like, I don't have as much pressure fishing the elites as I did because there was so much riding on those sure. events. Now, take me back. That year, were you fishing the Major League Fishing and the Opens, or were you dedicated to the Opens like Bobby and No, I, because the, COVID. that COVID. one okay. tournament okay. moving, wow. I was able, they didn't conflict. And then that year, MLF canceled half of our events. So that really opened open. it up. Wow. You know, so... Uh, it was just perfect timing. If it didn't work out that way, oh, I was the following all year, the okay, then the following year. I would have fished all nine of them. Gotcha. Oh, I was already mentally there. Yeah, yeah, I was mentally there. And you talk with Perosnik. I mean, heck, you guys are rooming uh, this week? or do you uh, guys No, room? he's staying with Larry Nixon this oh, week. Oh, okay, uh, I'm cool. staying with Kobe. With Krieger. Co Krieger? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you guys have talked, and I mean, through the, I mean. So he, he, you know, he didn't make it. He fished that year too. Yeah, Christy and I were the only two that uh, oh, made yeah. it. Take him, took him two seasons. Yeah, it took yeah. him two seasons yeah. because the deal was then you could make it in one division. So we all fished the centrals because, and so uh, Prosnick didn't make it in the central. So the next year he he won the points in the whole all nine events. Yeah, for the overall. Yeah, and made it. How do you prep, men? I mean, you said you were under a lot of stress, a lot of pressure. I mean, how do you how do you you go prepare, all you, you go all, all in. in? That's it. You, that's your deal. You know what I three mean? Three tournaments, three, three central, four. four centrals. Yeah, there were four. And uh, y'all got beat by Christy in the points by two points. He was that lucky. Sucker. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah. lost a fish the, at Louisville in the last event. Cost me winning Angler of the Year in that. <laughs> yeah. I got beat by Jason Christy. Speaking of Angler of the Year, you got a, you got a Bass Angler of the Year. You got an FLW Angler of the Year. You've got a Forestwood Cup trophy. He wore, won that MLF World Championship. Yeah. You won that, too. You're just lacking the Classic Trophy, right? Yeah, which is a really great big one. <laughs> it is a huge one. <laughs> that Man, is like, yeah. We had Kevin in that chair two weeks ago, and his, heck, your mantle is almost as big as his, man, with no. all the accolades. Kevin's is pretty stupid. Have you ever had any run-ins with Kevin? We, we, we asked no, we, Swindle okay. Occasionally it happens. Really? Yeah. No kidding. Oh. No, I'm kidding. no, no, you haven't. Dude, dude, do you remember? Okay, I wanted to ask you this. Speaking of run-ins, do you remember Chris coming in on you? <laughs> what was it, Kentucky oh, this Lake? Is a good, this is a good T point too. This is a, this do you is a, remember that? You remember the article in Bassmaster? Yeah. Yes. That Bowman helped you write. Sharing yeah. water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is I, a good I point. I pissed a lot of people off after that so one. So this is a great point. So uh, eight years ago, Kentucky Lake. I think we were both. Oh naked. wow! I didn't remember how long ago it had well, been. I didn't know. I don't know. I don't know. Eight years ago, <laughs> yeah, nine. It sounded, so long. Yeah, it so, sounded right. I don't know. Maybe eight, nine years ago. I'm, I'm 12 years into it now, and it's probably my third or fourth year on tour or whatever. We were both making a long run to New Johnsonville. I didn't know. This is day one of elite tournament. What's crazy is we were the only two down there on the same exact spot. On the same deal, there were miles. I know it was not a boat in. Yeah, and you had a better boat draw, and I had no clue. I was going down there anyway, and you were already on this spot. It was a one cat, maybe a two or three cast deal. It was a little ledge or whatever, typical ledge, and I and I came in, and I'm I'm hot, right? Three years on tour, like I'm coming in hot on it, and I'm like, I think I either mumbled it or said, hey, you know, I just made a long run. Do you mind if I fish here? Like, yeah, come on. But I think this is what I think. You tell me. I think you thought like you and or not invited me in, but saying okay, yeah, come on in. I think you thought that I wasn't going to like cast on it, you know. Otherwise, <laughs> you like casted like well, on the it's one like cast a one spot, spot deal. Can like, you believe it? I, <laughs> I can. Like, I don't really even. I, yeah. I remember it. I hadn't even thought. Honestly, yeah, I hadn't yeah. even thought about it until he brought it up. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I, I was like, I, I oddly mm. said, I said, "Hey, man, do you mind if I just made a long run? Do you mind if I you say, yeah, come on, man?" But then it was like I was kind of casting on you, and like hindsight, I'm just like, man, that's such a weird situation. And really, I mean, it's like I, I mean, I don't know how you felt about it, but. Uh, just yesterday his no, blog was not happy it's bowman <laughs> yeah blog. yeah bowman bowman helped write that and uh but like okay so i remember you know responding to the vlog saying and and obviously right we're fishing the exact same spot it sucks to be casting on each other it's a giant lake and everything um you know and my argument at the time was like yeah well i found the fish too blah 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 but and also too i grew up in a generation watching guys like when i first started it seemed like more and more guys were starting to fish on top of each other with the introduction to lake master mapping and all these mapping that cards did and change everything. that yeah and the coverage that i saw on tv 
made it okay to fish in a group like that. Like that, well, they like to show. They that. like to show that. They like to be five boats and they're all like stuck together. Correct. They yeah, love they do. showing they, that. They love to show that. And that yeah. was the example that I was watching growing up, and I was like, oh, you know, my, but I did communicate like, hey, you know, do you mind if I fish here? I had an instance yesterday where a young guy, second year guy, he's like in the top three right now. Um, Charles was with me. Yep. Yep. Right. Um, you know, I, I catch a fish, I catch another fish and this young angler comes up and just looking down, just scoping literally under my boat, casting at me like, no, Hey, hello, how you doing? This and that, this or the other turns out later that he kind of started around that area, which is fine and everything. But like, it seems like this new generation, I could say this cause I'm an old guy now. It's new generation. It's like hood on looking down at, at their electronics and just casting wherever it might be. So it's funny that you say that. So I started on a place yesterday mornings and I had three spots. It's for some reason, there are three spots that the bait sits. Mm -hmm. It just sits there. Yep. Okay. So I don't, a thousand yards from me, 25, I'm going to say 20, it's probably 15. It looks like in a distance, mm -hmm. 25 of our guys start on top of one another. And I'm like, man, I missed that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Like, but yeah, anyway, but, so I yeah. fish there for about two and a half hours and I'm just going. And every time I rotate around, I'll catch one off these three mm -hmm. waypoints. So one of those gentlemen, I look up and he's right behind me. So like the that. deal is I peel off to the, cause I don't want him to get in my drill, line yeah, on my yeah, drill. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, when he gets to the first waypoint, he catches one, okay? Well, I run back up there and shut down and I told him, I'm like, now, I've been fishing here all morning. So, and I didn't say anything about him leaving or whatever. I just said, I'm be, and he tells me that it was a drift. I was like, well, I'm not fishing a drift, okay? So my deal with it was that whatever he caught him yesterday. I'm pretty, maybe he caught him right there. I don't know. I'd already yeah, caught a right, limit before right. he got there. But so I was like, this lake is three hundred and fifty thousand mm -hmm. acres. Mm -hmm. I said, he oh. drifted in. He goes, life. we're gonna have to share. I was like, no, because I'm leaving. And I left. <laughs> I was like, somewhere out here, there's a place yeah. that, that no I can fish else. by myself. <laughs> Man, I'm, it just takes the fun out of it for it me does. because you like when you're needing to. Rotate. I need to move. Yeah. Yes. And when the waves are bad, you can't set on them. No. You know, you know what I mean? You yeah. can't. You got to dr drift. It's better to drift through them, maybe turn and hold for a second and roll off. And, there you know, a, there's a way to manipulate the fish. Yes. You just, it's hard to do that when you have other Was it around. worse in the elites or in the opens, that sort of behavior? Uh, I really only one open that year that I really had that, and that was at the uh, Arkansas River. I was leading the first day, and there was, like, it was terrible. And, uh, you know what I mean? Like, sure. and I had a place I, n I never got, I fished it the first day. I never fished it again, but it's really not that bad on the elites. You know, yeah, most of the places right. we go, big bodies of water, people stay spread out yeah. and, uh, and all in all, and you know, whatever, it yeah, don't sure. bother me that he, yeah. he did that year. I'm like, whatever, dude, you can have it. I think I'll go somewhere else. Communication though. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, but I will say if he's watching, it was not a drill. Right. <laughs> Right. It was not a dream. Right. Are you one of those old school guys that uh, will uh, throw that intimidation in? You know, is that one of your cards you play? Oh, no, I, I didn't. I left. I don't yeah. do that anymore. Not I don't anymore. care. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not worth it. And yeah. I'm like, here's the deal. It, there's other, there, especially on a place like this. this. Sure. You know, there are a lot of places out there. That's where, a good mindset you know, to be in. Yeah, it, so it I kind just of roll off. It kind of ruined my, me, my fishing that, for an hour. It so did. that's what I, that's the reason I had to leave because if I'd have stayed, then I might have Man, became it's aggressive. Frustrating. Right. Yeah. And it you know, totally I've, I've, changes your day. I hide those aggressive tendencies, but they live there. <laughs> Charles, there is that dark side. <laughs> I didn't have a marshal yesterday, so Charles rode with me. And we'll have to look at the footage. But I mean, how many expletives that I it, Quite a few. Yeah. It, it ruined me. Huh. Like, that's, I mean, but that's like today's. It does. It'll fishing. mess up your day. I, and I, that's the reason I'm like, you know what? Just go on and get I, away I think from the it. First thing I said was <clears throat> tournament fishing. Am I right? I mean, we're casting at the same two fish that are chasing this ball of bait. And we're literally both casting. We're does, both forward facing sonar to two fish. And we're both. And I'm does like, live scope make it worse now? Well, Doctor, I will be honest with you about that. That's one thing that I don't like because instead of a guy being on a spot and fishing, I saw this at St. Clair. Yeah. Now guys will be like, well, I'm fishing the whole lake. Uh, because right. they're chasing right. with the right. Because this they're just on the pattern. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So my pattern is I'm chasing fish. I'm just looking for fish. Right. And if you happen you don't, to be there, then. You don't look for the spot anymore. Used yeah. to you look for the spot. Right. Now you're lo you're hunting a for fish. fish. For it fish. Matter, doesn't matter the depth. Right. You catch one out of you're 18, so right. one out of 48. You're so right. right. Yeah. Are it's, you? What are your thoughts on live scope? Uh, so here's the deal. I don't. I think it's more powerful right now than it'll will be the rest of our 
careers. The cycle will yeah, kind of fall everything. At, you know, when all of a sudden when Navionics came out, it was gonna, it was the end of all in. You know, mm -hmm. you're gonna catch every mm -hmm. one of them. But you know, over time, what's the cool thing about fishing, and I think that's the reason we like it so much, is that they always stay one step ahead of us. Yep. So every think about how advanced just in my career things have changed you know what i mean like right. the things we're doing and so it just keeps evolving but i don't necessarily know on the small mouth I, it'll always be a big factor because they don't fish for these fish year round okay mm -hmm. but like if you go to a place now like toledo ben or sam rayburn you're going to see a bunch of bass that will not bite, bite. just because you can it. see them right. yeah. yeah but those are lakes where you know they're getting fished for year round and what we're doing is we're making it so popular Every well, boat yeah. you see on the lake will have it, yeah. mm -hmm. and it's just like anything else. Too much of anything messes it up. You yeah. know what I mean? Like sure. you're right. it'll always be a tool. You're right. But I don't think it'll be like well, this tournament will be one uh, with front facing some. Has it helped take the pressure off the shallow bite for you? Do you think? Oh uh, man, he's, people he's don't... been out offshore these last. Yeah, couple I know. Of, I, couple so I've kind of embraced it because I <laughs> yeah. felt like coming smallmouth. Now the rest of the year, I've not used it. I didn't use it till St. Clair's when I started okay. using it. Yeah. The rest of the time, I just normally f fish normal. Sure. And, uh, but I, I'll be honest with you, it's fun. I have enjoyed it yeah. because it allows me to do things that I would never been able to do before. Yeah. Right. You know, so it is it's cool. refreshing almost, yeah. But it is also refreshing to run down for miles and nobody's fishing. Yeah. Right. So I'm yeah. like, when I get ready to go fishing, when you go I'll with? have all the fishing water I want to fish in. <laughs> and that fish is not getting targeted. Yeah. Right. And now those guys have to... Like in our deal, it's making them think about. They're like, in practice, am I? Yeah. Am Which I going way? to fish? Right. Which way am I going? Right. And so many guys want to fish, but, but they can't. Uh -huh. They're like, I got to be looking. <laughs> so <laughs> you're a lot more calculated than 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 you lead on to be, man. Like you like you like. No, a lot of I people think, think he's a lot of people think you're just like a jig flipper from the love spending time on the woods, just like re very one dimensional. But you are a type of guy that embraces technology. You, there's no like weak game. Like everyone thinks you're just on the bank fishing for largemouth all the time. But you're a lot of times you're like off the bank doing other stuff. Well, here's the deal. I just try to do like I want to win. Yeah. You know what I mean. Every tournament. Yeah. Every tournament. Yeah. So I just try to do whatever. And like coming here, I wanted to fish for largemouth, but I didn't think it can be won that way because of the time of the year we're here in the smallmouth there are more four pound smallmouth than there are four pound largemouth mm -hmm. and we're here at a time when they're heavy and like if you look at statistics i'm like man to win on largemouth june or july yeah the right. smallmouth are skinny right then the largemouth don't seem to lose as much weight after the spawn yeah. as the smallmouth but once you start getting into this time of the year mm -hmm. and i have not caught a goby since i've been here but rumor is there are mm -hmm. gobies here that, but i don't i don't necessarily don't know that them. the yeah, I don't necessarily know that the smallmouth are getting bigger here. We're just getting better at catching them and then the technology. And there's so many of them. And this tournament will we will be one on smallmouth regardless. And I just felt like I needed to do that if I was going to give myself a chance to win. Right, right. Yeah. Don't you you have a smallmouth win, don't you? Uh, but on was, a smallmouth fishery? Yeah, I caught all smallmouth in the FLW championship, but they were little. So, and you were they catching them on a buzz bait, weren't I you? I caught some on a buzz bait, some drop shot, and I caught a four eight sight fishing. So that leads me to another question. Um, so I fished that tournament. This is FLW Championship in 09 ish or so, 09. and this is a three rivers out of Pittsburgh. You won that tournament catching smallmouth buzz bait or top water or whatever. Are you a like a? Actually, the last day I caught them all on a scrounger. Scrounger. Oh, yeah, there you go. Little scrounger. Yep. Shout out to Aaron Martin. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, so are you a, uh, do you, <laughs> are you like an emotional up and down roller coaster kind of guy? Because um, you had a phenomenal day. I believe it was the last day or second to the last day. You you had like a four. Second day. You had like a four pound smallmouth. A I caught giant, a four eight and a three eight that Correct. Day. I actually caught okay. the four eight on a crappie. Okay. Spinnerbait. So, a little crappie, Strike King made a little crappie single spin. Because they were eating such tiny, those little glass minnows. Yes, right. And uh, but the three eight, uh, I was going, I was locking three times. Yeah, I can't. It was at the uh, Ma Ma Mononahaga or Mon the one you could lock up. So there Allegheny got, or whatever. Allegheny, yeah, that was yeah, it. yeah. And there was a little river coming in, and uh, it's so funny because I remember my guy the second day of the tournament going, "You don't have a dip net," and I'm like, "Yeah, dude, I could swing all these." Yeah. They were. And so Tiny, I, there's yeah. a big log out in the middle of the river. The river was gin clear, and behind it is a 3-8 out there in like 12 or 15 foot of water suspended behind that log. I can so see what? it. 
and I was um, actually it was a three inch cinco. I was rigging it wacky rig yeah. on the drop shot, and I pitch it up there. To, and I was like, man, I got to make the cast right so it drifts by. I pitched like ten foot past the yeah. deal so it would drift to it. Don't yeah. worry, he just swam out around it, went all the way up there and eat it. And I was the, I was using seven pound uh, seven pound fluorocarbon, and I, I remember thinking, wow. Where's that net? <laughs> <laughs> where's that net? <laughs> where's that net? Because everything I'd Boat caught. Flipping, uh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, please. And then the, later in the day, I figured out another little deal. Then you know, we'd had a big rain. Yep. And all those fish were behind those buoys where you couldn't fish. Mm -hmm. So everybody had practiced up there. Nobody caught anything. We had that big rain, and that water ran hard, and it pushed those fish from that spillway. The first 50-yard stretch out of those buoys behind every dam had them. And I caught them on that spinnerbait coming back down. And I caught that 3-8 before I got there. But the other ones, I culled all of them fishing behind the dams. I figured it out out the first lock. I locked through and I ran over and I catch almost a two-pounder. Mm -hmm. You know, a pound three-quarters, which was a big one. So I would let all the boats, when they'd go through the lock, they'd all go to the front ah. to run out. Well, I'd stay in the back and let them go. And then I'd just peel out and fish that first 50-yard stretch. Yes. And I culled every lock down. And the last one, I caught that 4-8. So the reason why I asked about emotion, I guess emotional roller coaster is not the quite term for it, but um, you have such a like strong personality. You're outspoken at times, so you get done probably too much. At some well, time. you you got done having an awesome day. You remember in the parking lot afterwards? Remember the bus ride back? Do you remember? So we all had our bags weighing bags. It was hot, 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 we were hot. Stuck on that bus. Yes. Yeah. All of us had our weighing bags in a tiny little short bus, and this bus driver he didn't know anything about fishing he was just the guy that took us from the parking lot to the arena to weigh in and this the bus was full and this guy is just sitting here sweltering hot our fish have no oxygen do you remember standing up and just laying into that yeah, bus driver because I, I had hey, a man. big bag yeah exactly <laughs> it, yeah, the whole dude the whole yeah, and, i was pissed because it, i'm like dang we i can't take a chance on any of these fish yes. dying. they're gonna put me in the yes for half a million dollars for a half a million dollars and and no one knew there was no bass track or anything no one knew you had a sack but everyone in that bus when you stood up and said i gotta weigh these fish man come on let's go everyone's like Hackney's got a bag, <laughs> and you did. I had almost as up. much weight that day as it took Van Dam to win the Classic there that for three time. days. That is oh, amazing. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You but it was just perfect storm. You know everything. You came unglued on that guy. I remember being a kid from California, like, yeah, it's Greg Hackney guy. He catches him. He catches him. I was like, man, Greg went off on that guy. That was amazing. That was truly amazing. I was in a bind financially. I needed, <laughs> the, money. <laughs> you needed the money. <laughs> Dude, hey, those days of like half a million dollars. Heck, uh, Michael Bennett, million dollar win million for the FLW dollars. Cup. Were those days, so like, not, I would call it like late 90s, early 2000s, right? That's when I was like a, a, a bass fishing fan. Were, were those the heydays like of bass fishing? Yeah, I, hopefully not. Not, right? Yeah, I hopefully not. not. But as of in my career, yes, they were. So that really started. So my rookie season was 04. And it was pretty good, but see, that was a couple years before the the Elite Series. Was, and really when the money exploded was the creation of the Elite Series. Mm -hmm. You know, we were fishing 11 events. We were fishing the um, um, uh, the Elite 50s. Mm -hmm. Remember, if you were 50th in the mm -hmm. point, you know, we had the special tournament, no entry fee. And um, then that changed into the majors. So the Elite 50s changed into the majors. So the majors were... Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a tournament, no entry fee. Yeah, and uh, they they paid like the top. It was fifty of us fishing, but they paid ten thousand dollars to twenty fifth, and there was no entry fee. And and then the other deal was that's really when Van Dam made a lot of his money because that's when he was on that reign of terror, winning everything. The classic, the classic was a half a million dollars then too. Oh, it was Angler of the Year was like four hundred thousand. Oh wow. Oh yeah, like that was really a lot of non endemics A lot of things were different. And that, uh, that you know, at that time, ESPN owned Bass. This was pre-2008, right? Yeah, that, that would have been. So really, with, there was only a couple years of that. Uh -huh. Really, 05, 06, 07, 08 was the economy crash. And yep. that really, I mean, it pulled everything. Yeah, right. because here was my deal. I, You know, when I started in 04, I was like, wow. And I was fishing. So till 2006, I still fished both tournament trails. Uh -huh. I was fishing FLW and Bass. And uh, there was so much money. Right. Like, I wish I'd have done a better job of saving. I didn't realize. I thought, man, right. I just got into fishing. This thing is just be awesome. crazy. Right, right. Yeah. right. It's crazy. 
I'm not going to go into the numbers, but the but, sponsorship dollars were crazy, crazy. Yeah, like title like, deals were at least a hundred grand. A at piece. least a hundred yeah. grand. Wrap your boat and truck. Yeah. That's a hundred grand. Like nowadays, yeah. that's unheard. Like, yeah, like yeah. We yeah. don't even talk to me. Of about course, that <laughs> I know it's <laughs> crazy. So, it is pretty crazy because here's the only thing that that kind of gets me about that. We all know the sport of bass fishing is so much bigger right now than it was then. It's ever been. Yeah. Ever billions been? and what billions between the billions. high school and yeah. the college and people are spending everything. money left and right on, on fishing. Yeah. So, so where, where does it correlate with you guys, right? Yeah, that's like, a great question. Yeah. Well, and then that, illustrate. That, well, no, <laughs> I think about it a lot, and I and I tell him y'all are screwed. <laughs> no, but that leads back to like yeah. what was what was it's originally promised. pitched, and yeah. and you know, you know, and guys like BP, like. You know, BP and and Swin, everyone wants to make this thing bigger and better yeah. and more eyeballs. And when they pitched it, it was like, oh, I was in the same meeting you were yep. you were in, and it's like, wow. Until you know, what, Trait sat me down and threatened to to leave me, and she's like, look at the facts, and <laughs> this and that. Uh, my, Not to mention, she was right. She was she so was right. Not to mention. Here's the thing, though. Um, what most people don't know about me is my parents went through a really bad situation. Um, they had a guy take massive advantage of them, and he was a used car salesman. And uh, I had to experience that with them. And so that's, like, my foundation. So when it comes to, like, contracts and hearing people pitch things, I, n I don't really listen. I tune them out because I don't believe what people say. I don't, like... Oh, it's It's funny that people will lie like that <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, and so i'm all <laughs> that's what it's about mm -hmm. unfortunately i'm always looking for okay well when someone tells me something like that and pitches it i'm like well what's the truth and i wish i wasn't wired that way but that's how i because of what i went through with my family i think okay well they're using those words for a reason they're they're making this sound a certain way so why are they doing that what are they covering up so i was just negative to begin with you know and i hate that maybe you know, some things happen that I kind of saw possibly happening, but um, usually, like you, like when someone pitches something that's crazy, the, uh, it just didn't make sense to me. You know, and then other things were being said. Not to mention, yeah, I was, you know, my roommates were bought into some ownership and things, and and uh, I, I saw some of the text messages, heard yeah. some of the phone calls that were going down when the dominoes were falling that week. It was going down. I was like. Just from a, if this is the greatest thing ever, why are you worried yeah. about this or that or that? You know, it's like. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So a funny thing, there was a lot of vendetta. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. I didn't That's, know that. So I did it as a business deal. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like you keep I didn't yourself have, right. I didn't right. have any. Yeah. I didn't have anything against bass. Yeah. Yeah. I, but some people appeared to have. Some, yeah. Well, when we got yeah. over there, that was almost what it. Well, we're we're they're going to sink the ship. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, we don't really need to be worried about that yeah. ship. We need to be worried about this one. This one. one so we concentrating on worried about sinking another guy's ship and let's take care yeah. of our ship yep. and that's you know. some of that stuff was said to us before the split happened and so we were or i was like whoa 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 you know like the same feeling you had like why are they saying that you know like why are we so worried you know exactly you know why do we have to pick teams and like kill the other team you, you know the really the bad deal about the whole deal was chase got caught in that and didn't know anything about yeah. it yeah. and all that had come about way before it had nothing to do with him. No. Yeah. Nobody even knew him. I know. I didn't know him. I know yeah. it. Nobody, Same. I don't know this guy. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. he just Poor got, guy. He, right. It, he got in a... He was eating poop sandwiches every day that week. Or No, for... Yeah. Well, he was for completely like floorboarded by it, yeah. because I don't yeah. think anybody had even... Told him. Mentioned that yeah. that was yeah. going... That there was even a chance. He was like, you guys was. sold me a lemon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want a refund. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you seem like a very tough dude, right? Like, you seem like someone like... If I was one of the guys, I wouldn't want to screw with. You Look seem, at his hands, man. Yeah, you He's seem like you could handle <laughs> tough guy. Handle some situations, has any, or make them worse. Yeah. <laughs> so has anything through the 2008, you know, and the money changing, and then the split, has anything broke you in fishing? Has anything you've been like, okay, this is too much? Oh wow, I don't know. You just have to be like mentally tough to do this because everything will try to break you. Right. Yeah. It, it's so funny that something that you love so much and have so much passion for we'll can you. be so heartbreaking. Right. It is bad. Right. This is definitely, you know this, the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. I say that a lot, but it truly is. Yeah. Devastating because you're like every it's crazy because practice starts or whatever. Like I maybe I've not been in the boat in a while, and you crank up and you're out all out, and I'm like, yeah, I'm home again. Yeah. And then 
for it later on things to happen that will crush your soul right it does we are all tested in this deal it's a tough deal you know here's the deal it's expensive yeah it's not overly lucrative you have to love what you do <laughs> yeah. to do this you yeah. truly do you you I, and i and i do think I, I have a screw loose and so does everybody else that does this i agree you, you know what i mean you yeah. have to be off kilter a little bit to even Think about that. You, you have a teenage you know, son, don't you? Uh, they're not teenagers. They're not teenagers anymore. anymore. Okay. Yeah, Do they ever have aspirations to be professional anglers? And if so, so, we don't really talk about that yeah, in my house. Yeah. I really want to <laughs> do Good. other things. Good. And I, and Good. here's a, here's the deal with it. There, are, I wouldn't trade. I wouldn't change anything. I would. I was meant to do this. Okay. For but your only, career. Yeah. yeah. For my career. Yeah. I was meant to do this. Yeah. But I told him, I was like, look, you have the right job. You fish where you want to when you want to enjoy yeah. it nobody yeah. tells you where to go yep. fishing yeah. you know so and you'll get to spend a lot more time at home with your family yeah. and you'll get to do my family has made the utmost sacrifices for me yeah. to be able to do yeah. this and i don't want them to do that to their family yeah. you know That's all. they love to hunt and fish both of my sons are avid uh fishermen and they like everything you know and that's been kind of the deal too i'm like you'll get a chance to do more of everything. Yeah. You can go offshore fishing and whatever sure. you want to do, you know. Um, and so I promote. That's cool. No bass fishermen. That is awesome. Not they're bass fishermen. My, my, yeah, my youngest sure. son is a, an avid bass fisherman and, and really likes it, but we just never talked sure. about that. It's, yeah, that's, uh, we've, we've asked Rick that question, Kevin that question. It's, it seems like, I mean, in this day and age, it's so tough. On, yeah, on the mind, body, family, all that. Well, it's and then tougher it, than ever right now. The other deal is there's a half a percent of us that make it can even do it, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and make it. So even the chances of there's so many kids out there coming that a half a percent of them are gonna yeah even be able to do it. So and I so I consider you like a shallow flipping guy. Do you think it's possible for one of these high school, college, opens anglers? To, to make the Elite Series with the flipping stick Look nowadays? at Ish right now. You, you know, the deal is right now, I, you know, because we're in a time in life, it's it's still that deal. You got to be a jack of all trades or you will not make it. You'll get this. smoked. The, the one-dimensional fishermen have, like, I've seen a died. bunch of them that were good at what they do, but they don't make it. They died this. off, didn't they? They died off, Isn't that yeah. crazy? Yeah, it's... because fishing is advanced so much that, you know, I, you may not like every technique, but you better be good. You might not, you don't have to be great at it. You got to be good at everything, and it still helps you to be great at something. Sure, but you got to be good at everything to do this, and you got to be able to change on the fly. And you might be dobbing mats, and the next thing you know, you're skipping a wacky worm on a boat dock. Right. You got to be able to do that on the fly, or you won't, because it's man between our the competitiveness. And, and here's the other deal. The average age of the great anglers now is so much younger because it's gone down, yeah. guys don't have to go out. Now they can watch guys doing it, and the learning, the learning curve, curve. is yeah. so much faster. Right. You know, I mean, it's 18 year old kids like their drop shot, or, you know, they, and they're, and, and children, mine included, are technology wise, yep. pick up on it so much quicker. Yeah. Super comfortable. Yes. Yeah. They, so here's the deal. Like, I, I thought about this when I'm, when I'm out there with my front facing sonar, yeah. I'm uh I'm like, you know, at one time I was an arcade legend. Yeah. I was good at Galaga. <laughs> That's awesome. You know what I mean? So I kinda I'm like, I love arcade to play Galaga. Legend. So I'm like, I can do this again. <laughs> That's hilarious. Holy crap. Oh man, that's I mean, it's so true. I mean, what has taken you literally five or six spring seasons, so five or six years to learn that pre-spawn mat bite or flipping bite or me the swim bait bite. It's taken me five or six years to learn that. A kid could watch three YouTube videos in one season, one spring, apply what he learned in that YouTube video that he watched in February, apply it in March, and he's as good as you, you know? Well, so about. here's the other deal. He can watch you win a Bassmaster and be on the lake doing the exact, exact same, same thing, thing. Yeah. that the way you won the tournament that's that afternoon. True. Or the next day. Yeah, right. Exactly. Watching it. Man, Watching that's it. just Crazy. amazing. That yeah. really, it, it truly so is amazing. are you someone who's been protective over how you catch fish and stuff? And, like, has this media where it's all out there, are you okay with that? Or does it kind of tick you off a little bit, you know, as a master of what so you do? The, I'll, th I'll tell you this. The only thing that I don't want, I don't mind the showing of what guys are doing it's it's fun to watch yeah 
and it makes you want to go fishing. Yep. It, like anytime I watch, like I watch when I'm not, if I, I watch all the live sure. yep. and I'll go back and watch it and yeah. it makes you want to go fish. Yes, you know it what? Does. It, it does. does. It makes yeah. you want to go fishing. The only thing that I wish was never told was locations. The map. Yeah. Yeah. And, map. and here's the deal. Like, and it, it doesn't matter. The, the problem with that is it doesn't matter if you win the turn. If you win the tournament, I'm like, burn it down. Yeah. That's fine. But so many times you had a good event. Yep. Maybe you finished third, fourth, yep. fifth, whatever. And y'all go fish through the next year. Yeah, and but everybody you burnt knows. that area yeah. for yep. not a win. Yes. So I, that that's the only thing I wish that, like, let's keep the locations a secret. And here's the other deal with that. Even not so much to the fishermen, we kind of owe it to the fish. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because we are using a natural resource to to make our living. Yeah. So, and I'm not a tree hugger, but I, I do have a soft side for wildlife, and I don't want any of it to be abused, including, you know, because this is our resources, and this is what we do. Yep. So I'm like, I, that's yeah. the only thing. I yeah, I was I was just watching uh, I was watching YouTube and uh, uh, you know the episode from last year popped up from St. Lawrence. You and I both top ten at St. Lawrence River last year. I mean, my area and your area all that showed exactly where we were, and this happens every tournament, you know. And it's just it's amazing how accurate that stuff is. I mean, it is yep. right there. I mean, and it's amazing how many people watch it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, see yeah. the background and triangulate you right. guys, and you yeah. can't not check it the next time we're back, right? You got to check you it. It's like check you know, it. nature as a bass fisherman, right. I mean, like you got to you got to check check what's going on there, and uh, yeah. Um, I had a question here I wrote down. I was trying to take a nap earlier today, and I was like, ah, oh, maybe. I slept I for maybe two and a half hours. Did I you? Did nice. Too. What time was that at? Uh, I 10, went 11, about 10, 30. Oh, that's like <laughs> perfect. Too. Got up about that's two. <laughs> that is that is perfect. Speaking of sleep and, and, and getting up early and stuff, so a couple years ago, um, and maybe this is just like a self-disciplinary thing, um, a couple years ago on Lake Cayuga, you were you were – AOI, oh, like gosh. you were going to win this thing and you, un, you know, uh, unbeknownst to you, you were in an area that happened to be off limits or whatever. It was a gray area or whatever. Um, and you ended up getting disqualified like that day or whatever. At that point in time or that, that year, I was like the first one at the ramp every single, every single morning that year. And it was like 4 a.m. Whatever. I remember pulling up to the ramp the day after that happened at Cayuga saw one truck in the parking lot 4 a.m in the morning it was you and you were pulled down in the middle of the bay i don't think any lights were on or anything like you were like either thinking about everything shooting myself yeah <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking about I, I didn't sleep much yeah i bet night. you didn't yeah i bet you didn't yeah i bet you didn't it was so a, you just decided to go there in the morning and just kind of and reflect. i almost went home and i wow. fought a lot of uh, wow. emotions yeah with that deal. Yeah. Yeah. How, yeah how do you deal with something like Leia, that? We, we talked about the what could you love so much can yeah, crush your right. soul my soul is right. crushed yeah i can only imagine yeah. and you won that event two years before or the year before or whatever yeah yeah, yeah. and that was yeah obviously it wasn't intentional or anything it was one of yeah. those things it was a bad dumb deal. deal yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You know, I, so I, it, it, it is funny. I felt like I was punished to the full extent of the law yeah, in that deal. Yeah. Um, but I think that only thing it kind of bo has ever really bothered me since then. There's been some other instances where guys I felt like did as bad or, or worse, worse and were not punished. Slap on the wrist or hand. Yeah. You yeah. know, the next tournament that happened. In the special event, the week after that, that yeah. same thing happened. Yeah. But I was told it was a special event with special rules. So. Oh, it wasn't like a regular season event or well, whatever. Well, remember it was the top eight. Remember the top eight went over there to fish for a, you did a, a the shot at Muskegon the class. Muskegon or something like oh, that. Oh, the one. Oh, they went to Niagara Falls, the Buffalo. Oh, yeah. I didn't finish that yeah. one. The yeah. bracket. Deal, the bracket deal. I know what and you're And that about, same yeah. thing happened. And uh, I was, uh, I got a call. I wasn't watching it or anything. I was home. We were at the on the at the camp on the river and uh i was sitting on the beach and prosnick called me and said boy you pissed about that and oh, i'm like what i don't yeah. know and that same deal had happened but anyway whatever so, so here's the deal aaron martin's told me this what don't kill you makes you stronger that's true he told me that after that tournament because i'll be honest with you i wanted to quit Damn. like it's the only time in my career i'm like i'm done wow. i'm not i will i'm not you know and I, I'll tell you the big reason. It was a mistake on my fault, and I should have been punished, okay? I don't, I'm don't. i not taking anything about that. I didn't. The only thing was there were so many maps. I don't know if you remember that because they had all the Niagara River up there mm -hmm. also in our meeting. Mm -hmm. You know, 
And oh, I'm, I, yes, yes, I remember that. They has had maps of oh, everything. I don't know That's what was. Right. I don't know yeah, what, what was Cayuga and what was the Niagara That's River. Right. I remember that. And uh, so anyway, but it's still 100 percent was my fault that I should have looked at each deal. And the other deal with it, that deal was kind of different because it mm. wasn't a dug deal, it was right? A pocket, right? You know, I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, if you're thinking about it, yeah, I didn't think about it. it right? It's my, out. it's my fault, yeah. you know. Still, but it doesn't make it feel any better, right? You know, it's still really it was. That's the toughest. I, you know, I'll be honest with you. You lose a fish yeah, or yeah. whatever. Right. That's the toughest thing. For me, for as my career, it's the toughest thing. That's ever probably all one the of the years. toughest in our sport, yeah. honestly. Yeah, it was in the like, 19 years or 20 years you've been doing it, yeah. that's got to be. Next year will be my 20th. Wow. Well, will be my 20th season at Bass. Two decades. Yeah. Speaking of rule enforcement, what's uh, any thoughts on what was going on over there at, uh, Cayuga. at Cayuga, same lake? R speaking of rule enforcement and Cayuga on that on that side. So I'm a, uh, so you don't I'm, know. You don't dig. You don't yeah, dig I, I know. I watched a lot. I yeah. watched a lot of their live. Yeah. You know, I'm watching it. So, you know, again, this will be my opinion. Yeah, just but opinion. like I like opinions. I, I'm not a fan of their format. Okay, and um, I mean it is what it is. But smallmouth on the bed are dumb as a box of rocks. And when it, you know, when I brought that up earlier, I don't abusing the resource. Yeah, you may say I'm abusing them by putting them in my live well and bringing them and turning them loose. But my deal is if I catch the same fish 19 times, you're abusing it. Mm -hmm. it so you can look at it as however you want to look at it. Stressing a, a female out on the bed is stressing oh, yeah. a female out Well, my out on deal is I'm like, all of a, you're, you're, you're really, you're, you're making it look like what we do is not hard. <laughs> you catch the same fish over and over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? That's yeah. just, all this is just my opinion, but yeah. I, don't, I didn't yeah. like the way that deal went yeah. down. And I, I honestly think they learned from their mistakes. Sure. They have a lot of problems there. Sure. I don't think you'll see them do that again. Yeah. You know that, but, and because that's such different deal from what we do, mm -hmm. it, there's, and, and there are young Yeah, deal. they're learning. They're learning. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So they like, learned a lot from that experience. The last couple of years. Some guys learned that. more than others. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but you, so I, I don't think you'll see them do that again. I think they. Do um, you were talking about how you felt like your penalty was pretty severe. I thought it was. Do you feel like that's been a real problem over the years, even at your old league and here that some people for whatever well, I don't, reason, I, I just want it to be consistent. like, here's consistent. Yes. yes. If you want to punish everybody so, hard, punish them all hard. Yeah. Right. Don't punish some and don't punish, you Correct. know, some get hard and some not. Yeah. And yeah. Some get a slap on. Right. I'm like, yeah, you got to have a, a code of ethics. Yeah. And this is the punishment. Right. 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 Just like a, just like a uh, infraction, just like a, a misdemeanor versus a felony. So we were talking last right. week with, with, with G man, he's been around for decades and decades. And you know, he, you know, he came up with the idea or I don't know if he came up with it, but you know, he was talking about, Hey, how about every tournament we assign a five angler panel that if any inf rules infractions occur, you know, then they collectively talk about it. Like a it. jury. Like a jury, just like a, you get summons for jury duty and the infraction gets, gets shared and, and uh, ultimately Bass would have the final say, but uh, you know, it's... So, well, so like, let's say... We that, are the ones that it affects the most. Yes, so if Correct. your Cayuga situation happened, you'd have Chris, G-Man, and three other people, and Bass would say, this is what he did, what do y'all think? Yeah. And I would think someone like Chris would be like, well, you don't need to run his AOI chances over that Correct. one. Right. So the only thing is, and I don't even want to talk about this anymore, but <laughs> yeah. the deal was I didn't weigh any fish from there. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. is, and so that's part I think of it, that right? Was that's the part I got burnt over. Yeah. Like I was like, yeah. it'd have been different if I'd have brought one to the scales sure. from yeah. there, but right. I did. Yeah. And that's, so that's kind of, and what, I don't know what the penalty should have been. And maybe the next day I only got to fish a half a day. Maybe right. find me $10,000. Yep. I don't know, but sure. it cost me a lot more than, sure. and that's you know. what J Swindle brought up was that he would, the anglers would identify the situation you're in. And those are the questions that they could ask because they, okay. So wait and sometimes, you know, like some of these deals, like I understand you run a no wake zone, it's 45 minutes. Yeah. You know, right. whatever. Right. I don't even know if that's right. right. But There's it's a, a standard. time deal. I, yeah. they're, they're like, it's kind of like a misdemeanor doesn't have the same crime. I right. get a speeding ticket. That's one thing. Right. But if I'm drunk driving, that's yeah. another thing. Yes. Right. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, and, you know, I, 
and no one knows better than your peers like what was greg's intent right there there no harm right you weren't right. trying to gain an advantage yeah. right and that should be collectively what's but discussed. if you were trying to gain an advantage I feel, that's yeah, it yeah yeah i mean i'm right i'm 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 good with getting yeah with the punishment fitting yeah. the crime you yeah. know are you for so like on both sides that uh, you've you've been involved with like panels angler panels and 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 voting and things like that so you know, over the last few years, well, when the split happened, they Bass involved the anglers with a lot of surveys and things like that for rule changes or format changes or this, that, and the other. On a lot of that stuff, I'm glad. I, I would rather we all vote on it yeah. rather than having a handful. So that was something, panel. yeah, right. because some of the, I was on the panel on the other side too. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm personal. So here's the deal. Whether, which one of us is making a decision the first thing we need to look at that ev we need to make decisions that are for the whole hundred of us overall right. overall group we right. don't make decisions that are for guys at the top we don't make decisions for guys at the bottom Starting, right. now we've had some of that recently yeah and like so you know we've had a vote on something major here the last couple of years mm -hmm. i'm gonna say what it is or right, whatever right, but right. Wait, one of the guys say, we're I would gonna love for you to say what it is but one of the guys that was for it you know, he approached me and he said, when he approached me, he goes, well, everybody's already told me what your opinion's going to be. Ex I said, well, here's the deal. Expanding the field. He's lobbying. Yeah. But yeah. he goes, but he goes, I, I wanted to call you anyway. I said, okay. I said, well, here's the deal. Tell me how I'm going to benefit from it. Right. And he couldn't. And he benefited from it. Him. And so did another group of guys. But right. the rest of us did not. Right. right. And I tried to tell everybody that I'm like, and he, he don't have a personal agenda in this. We can't. The only because I've been on the other side and saw that personal agenda, it doesn't work. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you divide the group because now I'm against that group because I'm like, y'all made that decision you, right. that has affected all of us negatively. Right. right. So, it's like so American politics. I always thought y'all should be able to vote. No one knows how y'all vote, but someone like a Bose or something, someone who is on the outside looking in should ultimately say, what the best decision is well i kind of hated the way that deal went down because i'm like but I, I really wish bass had stepped in and said i don't we don't know if this is the best for the group that, right that's the reason why because i that that's the way decisions need to be made in this it, they need to be made for the group not for me not for you yeah. yes. for all of us yeah. you know you were talking about how you know anglers you learn that most anglers aren't good businessmen or whatever you said to start it and that's how i've always felt like you guys are good at fishing that's what you'll do you should have an opinion Bass should seek out your opinion to know the general feelings, but ultimately they should make the decision that is best. I think so. Mm -hmm. and Sometimes they need to make that decision and we don't need to yep. make it. That's the way. Because I, yeah. we don't need to do stuff that's detrimental to yeah. ourselves. Uh, yeah. Exactly. You, you know what I mean? Self-inflicted wounds. We I need agree. to. And the, and the deal is like when we make a big decision like that, we don't need to look at the short term. Mm -hmm. We need to look at the long term yep. and right. guys coming in, how it will affect them positively or negatively or you, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I, I, I like it that Bass stands up a lot and they may I, I need them to make that decision. I yep. think that's best for all of us. It is their business. We yeah. take care of our business. Right. right. And they take care of their business. Sure, but yeah. sometimes with those I, decisions. Yep. Yeah. But I do. I do like I think they're so much better now about sending out the surveys yep. and just like the other day when they send out the email and i've not sent anything i'm guilty i've not sent anything back i do have some ideas that i'm going to send to them yeah and uh but you know about asking us you want any rule changes for next year and you know there are a couple things that again that are for that i think that i that are not just for me they won't really have that much effect on me but they will affect they will help the our yeah. Whole deal. The group move yeah. forward. Yeah. Group move yeah. forward. I, so, I'm going to send in. So I got a, a question then. Um, what What are your feelings about the West Coast? Do you feel like y'all should be going out there, or do you feel like Bass should be doing more out there, trying to help give those guys uh, something to attain out there? So I really enjoyed every time we've been out there. It's beautiful country. The fishing's great. It is a long mm -hmm. drive, but it's 26 hours for me here. Right. So it's. 33 i think Just to the delta the way, yeah. yeah yeah i think for to the delta is about 33 you so caught them there too <laughs> yeah I, I, I like it out there uh i do think i liked it that every two or three years we were going out there right and um but i, I honestly as much as like going back out there i wish we would go to a lot of new places yeah i right. think we should expose what we do there are Everywhere. a lot of people 
So I, I have to use the Sabine River. There are a lot of Sabine Rivers out there. Yep. I'm not even saying that we're places like the Sabine River where the fishing's not that great, but where the crowd, Waddington, New York. Enjoy it. Yeah. Like the first time we went there. I mean, there's like no, yeah. appreciative for you guys to yeah, be there. That appreciate what we do. Yeah. You know? There's a lot of rural America out there that needs to come That's to the way of the Bassmaster. I thought MLF was going to do more of that. Yeah. When the split happened, I really thought y'all. When that happened, well, they were going to go to smaller venues mm -hmm. and do all that. But that you know, happened. the one thing that I f have finally figured out about all this the almighty dollar yeah. controls everything. Yeah, everything. Right. And you know, we've even gotten in some of that this year that we're the both Rotating. organizations are fishing the same yeah. locations. It, it drives me crazy. nuts. And then the it English. Is. And I mean, we mad. do, because I, I think about this, because I it's not good for me to have an idle mind. You know what I mean? Well, I got too much time to think <laughs> about same. stuff. But like driving up here, I'm like, Damn, how many bass have I driven by to get here? Yeah. You know what I mean? We just big parts of the United States that we never fish. And I'm not telling you that the fishing's great in those areas, but it would be great it can't on be the, that bad. Like if one event a year we went to a place that yeah. either they've not been in thirty years or right. they've never been once a year. I feel like one at least one new place a year yeah. we should get, visit good, every year. Yeah. I feel like at least in media they could recoup whatever they don't make on site or whatever might be. Yeah, I don't know what that be. dollar. I'm you know here's the deal. That much I hear rumors I hear. of the dollar amounts, but it's not that I don't much. know. Yeah, right. I don't know what right. it is. I hear it's not that. Just much. the content, the content, uh, you know, availability and the mm -hmm. you know, just. You know, everyone likes a new story, right? Everyone wants to know, like, which Reaching part new which people. is the north end or south end that Hackney's going to go fl start flipping in, you know? And, like, people pay attention to that. But like, everyone so knows the story. river here. systems and yeah. lakes and stuff that just, if they just did that One once a year. Yeah. Once a year, let's, a new place that Bass has not been before, if they've not been in 100 years, whatever. Right. Like, just a spite to me. Yeah. People ask me all the time, where's your favorite lake to fish? And I'm like, my favorite lake to fish is a place I've never, never been. Never been. <laughs> yeah. True. You're not I thinking like history. I like the unknown. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I don't know what's around the next corner. You're yeah. a purist. Yeah. yeah. I, li yeah. I like that. I just wish we did more of that. Hmm. Yeah, I agree. Hmm. So a lot of parallels with, uh, as we wrap up here, is a lot of parallels with, with bass fishing and, and, you know, hunting. I mean, you're a huge hunter. I mean, you hunt it all, right? You do the turkey thing. You do the deer thing. You do it all, right? Um, is there, I mean, I think I asked Swindle this before, but um, is there like such thing as a professional hunter? And my, if so, my, is there any money in it? Julie would tell you that there is. She's like, it's a hobby. It's a, But I, <laughs> I have that personality where I can't do anything but one way, if that yeah. makes sense. It yeah. don't matter if it's hunting or fishing. I'm all in. Like, I want to go as hard as I can go. Do you, do you That's put, a personality. You put ball. the same amount of effort into hunting as you do bass fishing. I do a lot because I've seen your your Instagram and social media. Like yeah. in, in between events, you're out there like sweating in a t shirt, like yeah. loading up feeders or plotting and all that I stuff. I really enjoy it. That's insane, man. So I was like, every time I show, I hate to say this, but I just got the cameras that sent. Yeah. This is the first time I've had the cameras that send uh, oh, send oh, you oh, the oh, pictures. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So every time I shut down to I, like during practice, I don't spot to spot. I'm, no way. I'm out on the water. Yeah. So it gets to, so this time of year, as we're yeah. winding down bass fishing, that's all you I, think I do. I, it is one thing that I do love about our sport that we do have an off season. Yeah. I like the off season. Yeah. I enjoy it. So what does the off season look like for you? Get rid of your boat immediately after, after uh, this No, event because I'll then... fish a little. I, like typically for me, I get rid of my boat around Thanksgiving. Okay. Because I've, I either have sponsor obligations yeah. and, uh, you know, like I'm going to fish another. I always fish the last open of the year I have huh. the last few. Even on years I only fished one. Really? I'd always fish that last one. Because huh. I'll tell you this, a lot of times the last one goes to a place I want to go. Like one year it was Seminole. I fished a Red River last oh, year. Oh, cool. It's going to Florida uh, this and year, And this right? year it's going to Florida. I like it's going to Harris. That Shane. time I'm of like, year, yeah, too. Yeah. It's a good time. That's pre-spawn. You know, yeah. it's pre-spawn in Florida. Yeah. So uh, I always enjoy it. That it's my only chance to fish the way I grew up, mm. the time of the year, whatever, because there's so many techniques like that I learned fishing growing up that we we never use unless we go to Gar Hole, like the Sabine River, or you know what I mean, ah, like places yeah, where I can train, you know, light. square bill, buzz bait, frogging, you know what I mean, right. more traditional type yeah. fishing. 
And uh, that's I'll tell you this, that's one thing, like that COVID year, it killed me watching Bassmaster Live because all those events were in the fall. Oh, you? yes, right, right. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, yeah. the one year yeah. when I could fish like the way I grew up. And uh, Would you would you be I, – I, we had talked. I don't know who I talked to. They were talking about doing a fall open series, one division, or someone was wanting it or something. Would that – you know, I kind of thought about that. Like, now, there's so many divisions of the Open, they could do one. Yeah, it just was like one fall division. Yeah, like an October, series. November, December type right. deal. You know, because like growing up watching Bassmaster, and I probably hunt more now because used to I fished all winter, and but I, I think it's good for me now to Get recharge away. my batteries to completely push away from it. And that way, when we start back the next seat about January the first, now I get the itch. Right. I'm ready to go fishing then. Sure. But I, um, you know, but like growing up, they had a lot of like they pretty much fished year round. Yeah, right. There were some tournaments, you know, December, mm -hmm. January, you know. And I first started fishing bass. We start in January. We were done. April, May, spring. It's all yeah, spring because stuff. the classic was in August. Right. Oh, right, right, right. FLW was the exact same way. Mm -hmm. They fished all their tournaments, and their championship was in the August or September. You know? Wow. So they were all like that. And the opens were in the fall because then I would fish the opens because they were all fall. Like I hardly ever fished. The first open would be August. Wow. I can remember the year that I qualified for uh, the classic. Uh, the first time the open started, Red River in August. Now it was 110 degrees, yeah. but. Wow. Do you ever, like, this late, uh, you know, this late in the season, do, do you ever feel like, man, this is work, like getting up in the morning, like, man, this is, or maybe, like, have a bad event or two? Uh, maybe you have a bad first day, and then the next morning, because I have this, the next morning, it's just like, man, it's like, this it does. is like, it's, you get kind of burnt out. Not yeah, burnt out, but. Yeah, but you know what it is? It's never, you're never burnt out physically. It's mentally mm -hmm. that makes this so hard. Mm -hmm. that, that's really what, it's so much, it, you know, it's a lot of stress. It's stress on the whole field, or they should be, because yeah. if you're not stressed by this, you won't survive. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? It's so it's how just do you, mentally draining. What are some of the things you do to get rid of that stress? Just like, have an extra cup of coffee. And, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't Just know. one step at a time. Yeah, you yeah. just got to make sure you don't have an extra cocktail in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you need a cocktail, I totally get it. Yeah. I know why you need that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it is. So think about this. You have nine weeks to make your living. Mm-hmm. That's, you got to get yeah. it done. Out of 365 days. Out of yeah. 365 days, yeah. there is so much riding on. Yeah. And there's no changing where those weeks fall. That's it. Yeah. That's it true. is that's it is a tough gig. Yeah. You know? That's get, the reason I can't I, I wouldn't tell anybody, hey, you need to be a professional bat. I couldn't I didn't tell my children that. I I couldn't tell anybody that because I'm like again, you have to have a screw it's loose. Brutal. To, it's brutal. It really is. Yeah, it is. Wow, I've enjoyed it. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a ride. You know what I mean. But it's, it's how many been, how many more years you got left? I don't know. I still you don't feel know. pretty good. Yeah, good, good, yeah, good, I still good. Feel pretty good. That's scary for all you young guys, <laughs> man. Well, here's that the deal. Scary. I know I've slowed down. I yeah. mean, it's harder for me now. Yeah. They're tough, man. Yeah. So the average age. That's the other thing that shape changed with bass. Most of the old timers left. Uh -huh. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's so true. the at, these guys are so good right now, and they're. So, they're the youngest group I've ever competed mm -hmm. against. They're hungry. Yeah. Yeah. They're hungry. So when I start, you know, by far I'm one of the youngest guys. Most of them were 40 right. or older. You know what I mean? Yeah. This group, the average age is about 35, 30 to 35, and they're good, and mm -hmm. they, they, they don't get tired. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I mean? Like they're at that age when they're, you know, I've been there. When you, I'm like, you're invincible. They're at that age. It's, it's tough. Yeah. Uh, so I got, before we wrap this up, I've got a f one fan cr question. Um, a guy from, his name's Mark from Michigan, asked if Prometheus is real. It is. <laughs> what is that? You've never <laughs> seen that movie? No. Oh, you need to watch it. What is it? You ever watch Aliens? Yeah. It's a connection to that. It's a connection with a lot of things. Really? And it's real. Yeah. It's real. You honestly think that? So, here, so here's the deal. <laughs> They've pretty much all but told us now that aliens oh, right. are real. They're, okay, they're, okay. They're, so you're onto something. Okay, yeah, they're, right. they're, 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 we you're already right. knew this was. I was like, it's just you a matter that. of time. They knew the whole time. They've been knowing this. Like we're a speck. Our our planet On is the, a that's true. Speck. Right. 
a it's speck lots of, of the whole what? picture right and yeah. how big is the picture yeah 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 so we know this knows, was coming but... you know they had whatever um a deal the other day you know and guys like yeah we have all this ufo footage we have all this you know we know like they've been here and the, and remember the guys like like wow we would just be a burnt <laughs> like a charcoal bri briquette you know and i'm like we we knew that you yeah. know what i mean so wow yeah so here's the deal you if you go and look at things like that here's a picture of something that was in a mayan temple and that same picture is in a uh an egyptian right uh, they both pyramid. saw it and they're almost the exact same thing and That's they were true. separated I didn't know that yeah, and they were separated. How is that? Wow. Yeah. There's all kinds of crazy stuff out there. Really? Right there. It's a crazy world we live in. Is that what you do at home? Do you, I mean, no, are you I into I, that? I'm into some of that. Yeah. yeah. The only thing I'm disappointed in is Bigfoot. Yeah, yeah. Sasquatch. Yeah, because you, I mean, I, somebody would have, like, some, like, in, yeah, it, somebody in my part of the country would be like, you got to see what I got in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I've been looking for him, but he's not. Uh, but it, it is, you know, they, and this is a big world, and they find new species all the time in our world. They do. They yeah. do. Especially and, out in the ocean, yeah. Yeah, so, but we're a speck. A speck. If you, when you put it that way, yes. Okay. I mean, just a speck. That was a good. Crazy. That was a good question, Mark Zona. That was a yeah, great question. I knew who it was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of um, course, Mark speaks highly of you and everything, and you yeah. guys, you guys are good buddies. And uh, yeah. man, I'd like to hang out with you guys in the fall sometime. It's a fun. Definitely do the Whoville Ranch yeah, thing. It's a they invited. They invited us last year and, or two years ago, and we had to skip out. But uh, do you guys do that every yeah, Tom's year? Tom's place is crazy. Yeah. I, ha I actually haven't been the last couple years. Oh, you they, haven't? Yeah. They've been, but I haven't. But Tom's place is Chris has insane. never, he hasn't shot a deer yet. No. I shot, shot my for, first one this year. Yeah. I got real, I got into turkey hunting real big. I like that. I like that. So the only reason I haven't been all in on the turkey hunt, because it, it's, it's time of year. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. the bass rut. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it's your time. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Trey, you got anything else? No, you can ask him your. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Oh, one more because everyone keeps asking this question and it's actually a great question. Don't ask them about a jig color. No, no, no. Um, if you if you had to fish a team tournament, bass tournament, who would you pick? Anybody? Well, would I, I would have to. Would this be a small mouth or a large mouth event? Um, you could. He would have to fish with you the entire season. Oh. So small mouth and large mouth. Oh gosh, I'm not gonna pick the guy I was fixing to pick because we'd fight before the end of the year. <laughs> 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 Who, Who was, was that? that? I, it was Prosnick. Yep, yeah. Prosnick. Yeah. Dude, he'd be he's the guy good, that dude. he's good. Yeah, yeah he is. He really is he'd good. Clean him up. Like here's the deal. He as in a team deal, he I, I'd have to pick him. Yeah. I mean, I, he'd be the he's guy. A, he's who, a very good. Who fish. would he run really the is. trolling motor? It'd have to be me. <laughs> And Rosnick's a very outspoken guy as yeah. well, and he like he gets it. Jacob. Like, yeah, he gets it. He, he speaks might be his mind. a little rough around the edge. Little rough. He's yeah. definitely a little rough. He'd be rough. a good podcast guy. He would be. Yeah. He would be. Get but, him a couple uh, cocktails. Yeah, always. <laughs> I always like talking sponsorships and things with him and everything. And, and uh, but <laughs> just don't suck him down on that yeah. rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah. That's always a good topic with I, him. I love. That's Jacob. always a good topic with everyone. I mean, this day and age of 2023. Like social media is as high as it's ever been involved in our sport. There's other where ways that'll go. That's what I'm saying. Like, like is there a I'm cycle, saying. right? Do people get over it though? So like, yeah, you know, know, just like we're talking about forward facing sonar, you know, it's a trend and boom. Like, do people get to where they're like, screw this, I'm tired of yeah. like dealing with this, and start to push it away for a little bit? I, I think you maybe have already seen that to some things. Like even like I know people like, if they won't look at Facebook because yeah. it's it's negative and it can suck you into yeah. a, right. you know, it and make you feel bad. Yeah. You, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I, I wonder about that if we're not at the top of the whole social media yeah. deal. Like where, where people that... are like, you know what, this is too much. Right. You know, you're getting, you're absorbing too much. It's it's constant. Yeah. Then, of course, for people who have ADHD, they can, it's yeah. Bad, yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. they just, the whole TikTok, I don't do TikTok right. or whatever, yeah. but. That dopamine feed. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. so like when you started just a couple more questions that when you started in 04 um you know like all of us i mean like sponsorship was like not even a thing right like i'm gonna make i'm gonna establish myself with this rod and reel and you know build my career and everything like over those first few years of four or five or six and i think you were at flw at the time maybe um what were some of the things that were valuable to like what were some of the things that you could leverage 
uh, speaking with sponsors, you know, what were the, some of the most valuable assets or attributes that you could have back then compared to now? So the, what worked out for me at that time was better, like, cause I didn't, I, I, I had the opportunity to, to get more established before I looked for sponsors in uh -huh. that I had a job. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah so I, uh, so I worked for my father and the deal is I could be off to fish. There and you then go. I did that till 2003 in June of 2003 fishing had gotten to be uh too much you know what i mean i couldn't do both okay. so i told him in in june of 2003 i was like i can't come back i still went back and helped him any chance i could sure. yeah y'all were loggers or something uh -huh. he was a logging wow. contractor so but what it helped was that i could concentrate on fishing at the tournaments mm -hmm. like i saw guys that were struggling you know because they were chasing spot they needed the money Chase right they tracks. couldn't afford yeah so yeah. it helped me because i was like in in my mind work this way if i don't make it i got a job i can i'll go home i go to work so when i get to the tournament i only concentrated on there fishing, you go. and it really helped me and so i was able to get over the hump and then start ah, getting a sponsor gotcha you know? yeah and what's your longest last and so i guess strike king would probably be the, the longest sponsor Two th so i've been with strike king since the fall of 2004 that i wow. won the rookie of the year i was rookie of the year bass rookie of the year 2004 wow. And I signed with them that uh, that year. Wow! So and I, but I've been with I've been with Mercury since two thousand and six. Um, I've been with Phoenix since two thousand and nine. Wow! Um, How long were you with Quantum? Uh, from two thousand, so I was with Strike King. Got me. Uh, they were right. Quantum was uh, sponsoring the Protein Journal. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was actually with Loomis up till that time. Oh, wow. uh, and, um, but they were sponsoring. So I was using Loomis rods and using quantum. I was buying quantum reels and wow. I was getting Loomis rods because Loomis didn't have a, they would give me a uh, an allowance at the time to buy Shimano. I don't know what, I don't even know what the hookup then was. I know now right. Shimano owns them or right, whatever, right, right. but I didn't know that at the, what the deal was. But so I, maybe I've been with, Qu I was with quantum from 2005 funny thing you know i when the strike king lose merger happened that was the reason that i left quantum and went to and right quantum. right and now quantum is owned by lose and, like yeah. and rather outdoors same group, yeah whatever. right and kevin did the same thing right yeah yeah I guess kevin the same did time. yeah kevin and i went at the same we swapped it you know switched over at yeah. the same time and then a year later it all comes back around. it all comes back around it's a pretty small industry we're it, in, you know yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy it is it's not very big and when i first got into it i was like it's huge, yeah. but it's really not. Mm -mm. Do you so like you've got several like namesake, the hack attack line over at Striking. Do you enjoy doing that lure development, jig development, and thing and working with? I, I do. do you, I'll, you I'll be honest with you. We don't. I like. There's not a lot of new stuff coming in that real heavy duty line, right? Because right now everything Board is jig basins. heads and little it worms. It really and, is. It is. Yeah. yeah. But I. But I think you know. Here's the deal with all that that's the cycle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we'll see it go back yeah you, you know what i mean yep. it just cycles yep because again we talked about this all everybody's out there in the opening where they can see mm -hmm. they don't want to fish somewhere where they can't see that fish that's living up there where you can't see them that's a big girl is not being mm -hmm. bothered right now she's gonna grow so all of a sudden this deal all of a sudden two or three national tournaments were won by a guy fishing everybody's back that's fishing true. again no you're that's right that's what'll happen yeah i mean it, is, right. what it right. is you're absolutely right so i'm like in a way i'm really enjoying the whole uh deal of being out there and looking around it's cool it's trendy it is you know, <laughs> you know what i mean but when i do like i said even like yesterday when i'm running down the lake and i'm looking at all this water that there's not a boat in because you can't it's too much grass something you can't see in it yeah you know and i'm like well that's okay yeah because we'll be back <laughs> wow that's awesome this is an awesome podcast i'm so glad no we did it's this. great no this is unbelievable so yeah. yes and we appreciate you coming out yeah before, i appreciate that yeah before we let you go i always <laughs> ask our guests um like over the years whether it's it's business whether it's it's performance whether it's home life uh whatever it is aliens i don't know what what's some what's a piece of advice i mean like it's either dad advice just life advice that you could leave the uh the viewers with here today like your biggest piece of advice probably the biggest thing for guys out there fishing doing this save every penny you possibly can save yep. 
I didn't save enough. Yep. I mean, I saved some. Don't yep. get me wrong. Yep. But I. That's probably the only thing I've. I've told a lot of guys. You know, you know, young guys are yep. doing well at this. I'm like, save every penny you can. It's so easy to spend money out it here. It is so oh my easy. Gosh. And you know, and I'll be honest with you, I got caught up in that deal early on when I was really making a lot of money that yeah. there was no end to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, this is easy come, easy go. You know what I mean? Like that. That would be the only thing because. I, and here's the deal: a couple things like goes back to having that job, and I had confidence to fish because I had that job. Sure, you got that money back, yeah. even if you 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 want to put it back and you don't want to touch it. Yeah, it gives you confidence to yeah. have it. Does that make sense? Yeah. I hate to say that money yeah. doesn't buy happiness, but it'll make you really <laughs> not very good. So in, without it, it's not very good either. <laughs> final question: So in your earlier years, I mean, uh, making money, spending, we're all spending money. You, you don't strike me as like a sports car kind of guy. No, I've never been. been but because I like to hunt so much, I was I, just gonna I've say, spent a lot of money. That's on that. a, yeah. But here's the deal: you gotta spend a little bit because you gotta. Yeah. Like so, my my deal is you. You don't want to save it to the point where you can't, you can't take it, it with right. you. But it is nice to have it for a rainy day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, I spent a lot of money, but I tell you this: at the hunting, I bought land. That's how I've invested my money. Well, there you go. That's not and so yeah, it's like, yeah. and we've used it. You know, I bought the land and we my, we hung out on it and right. and we did all that. But land's a great investment. Heck you know yeah. what I mean? They don't and make it anymore. They don't make it anymore. Yeah. Yep. And so it's you. You're one thing about if you do buy property like that, you're guaranteed chances are to get what you pay. Get for it back. It. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Or and you may make a bunch. Yep. But at least at least make it back. It's been cool to get to use it and then you you know you still it's like having a bank account yep. that. Uh, but yeah, so I spent a lot of money on that kind of stuff. So there it is. Everyone save your money. Now, mm -hmm. Greg, we really appreciate the opportunity. We got to get ready and rig up and uh, competition day number two is tomorrow as we sit here. But uh, I'd like to go round two with you, man. Get a little deeper. I know Trey uh, yeah. yeah. will have yeah. some like good questions yeah. lined up. I really appreciate it and uh, learned some things about you today and uh, saw a side of you that, uh, that we don't typically get to see. So thank yeah. you. Enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Appreciate you, brother.